Hey guys, welcome to my playthrough of KSP. I tried doing this a little while ago and I kind of lost interest in it. Time, my, my time around the house kind of dwindled down and I wasn't able to do it. So here I am back. This is a version 1.9. Uh, I saw that they made an update and it kind of sparked my interest in playing again and I kind of have a little bit of time on my hands now. So I thought I'd play through a little bit of this and... Uh, and just have some fun with it and share it with you guys. So, I used to play this a lot. I've had, I have thousands of hours in this game, and uh, it sounds awful, but it is true. And uh, so, I'm going to do a career mode with you guys here. I'm going to go to my go to flag. I always do this one, I don't know why. I'm going to go to difficulty. Good, good, good. Starting funds 25. I'm going to up that a little bit just so I can make sure I can have everything keep going forward with you guys and this. Uh, okay, good, good. Uh, require signal for control. Sure, why not? Add a little bit more difficulty to it. Um, okay, good, good, good. All right, yeah. So we'll just go with it. All right, so... I usually don't play career mode because um, I usually lose interest in it. Uh, but hopefully, I'm just gonna try to take this uh, a little less seriously, I guess you could say. Take it a little less seriously and not try to keep making videos all the time. I'll just do it once in a while. And these videos will probably take. We'll have very long stretches of time in between them. All right, so I just accepted those two co contracts. I always accept the orbit curve contract first. It gets you a few. Uh, a few extra thousand in the advance, and um, and then I just complete the other ones as I go through. So uh, our first uh, contract obviously is just gather scientific data from Kerbin. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, it doesn't take much. Just a uh, just a capsule, and I'm going to start developing. I'm going to start developing my uh, rockets, uh, the K1 capsule for single Kerbin, single Kerbal capsule. Um, so I can't really remember what's here in the beginning anymore. Oh, yes. Oops, wrong controls. It's been a long time. All right, so we are going to put two of these on here. That's how I will be flying it later. And I think now we have, oh, we don't have action keys yet. No action keys yet. Okay. So we got that. Put this guy on there. Not that we're really going to use it. Like I said, I'm just developing my capsule for use later. So we've got that. I'll save the K1 capsule. I think Jebediah is going to default in. We'll launch. So I have a very specific procedure I go through here to try to get as much science as I can in the beginning of the game. Uh, that way we can uh, start flying and and uh, doing some cooler missions, but it does take a little bit of time to get to that point. <clears throat> and uh, it's just a little tedious and I'll probably not put all of it on camera, but uh, but I'll do as much as I can, and, and uh, there's a lot of repeat missions, so I'll probably just do a single mission uh, with you guys, and, and then I will uh, go off camera and do a bunch more. So, all right, time warp. Actually, I want to go all the way. No, I want to go to the crawler way. <clears throat> it moves so slow. All right, so we got this. Ready to click this EVA report as soon as we get to the crawler way. So as you guys know, there's different biomes here. There's all kinds of science you can get at each one. Um, and a little later on, we'll probably do that just to maximize our science before we start actually trying to fly out. And I'll show you all that. EVA report. Good. All right. I'll recover Jebediah, and then I'll recover the ship, and we'll have our first science to spend. Even though we really don't have to spend any science until uh, until we launch, make our first launch, but... Going to anyway. All right, 11 science. So that's enough to get us a new thing to research here. 
I could unlock this one, but I really want to keep going and push through and get this barometer first. Um, which I think needed four science. Is that what it was? Yeah. So we're going to do it again. We're going to get Valentina a little bit of experience. We're going to put um, this, uh, whatever, right here. I hate putting the flags on there. Oh, and we're going to change the color. There we go. K1 capsule. There she is. Did we get her? We haven't unlocked that yet. Okay, so now we're going to change our pilot out because you can see... Oh, Jeb didn't even get any experience there. Uh, okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just launch Jeb again. And this time we are going to take the, th the temperature reading. Well, temperature... It's 2.4 science. I think I needed 4 science, so I'll use that to get that 0.2. And maybe I can get another 0.1 out of this. I I don't know, so I'll just take it anyway. Um, EVA report, jump down, and then we're going to run all the way over to just off this uh, launch pad section. And we're going to get another, I think it was 2.4 or 2.6. We just need at least 2. And uh, I think one and a half now with that point two from the goo. But we should be able to get it no matter what. And uh, once we have that, we'll have our 11 science again. We can unlock the next, the next node of our tech tree. And doing that will get us the barometer. And essentially what I want to do is max out the science. Oh, this is still considered the launch pad now? What? They must have changed that. It used to be the KSC. I'm going to keep going and see if we can... It used to be once you cross that line, you are now in a different section. I wonder if it's because of this, because of the time warp. Interesting. Well, we'll keep going. This will be an experiment. I haven't. It used to be this area right here was a different biome in the launch pad, but apparently now it's all the launch pad. But where does it transition into the runway? Interesting. Either way, I need to get an EVA report from a different biome, so I will uh, just start heading towards the runway here. Oh. There's Shores. Alright, so I'm going to take that and I'm going oh, I can't can't put a flag out. Um should I use Jebediah as a flag? I don't think I have enough funds to upgrade. I'm going to just uh, go back to the space center and we're gonna see if we can get the flag capability, and I want to plant the flag there because it's an easy place to go for shores. I mean, I guess the rest of it's pretty easy too. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Shores are pretty easy. Uh, I only have nine. Oh, I haven't recovered this yet. That's why. All right, there's eleven. All right. So come over here. We're going to look at this. Oh, we need fifteen. What a dummy. All right. So we're sitting at twelve total science. All right. So what we're going to do? Let's come back in here. Uh, I guess I should have gone to the to the hangar. And I am going to load the K1 capsule. Uh, geez, it's been a long time since I played this. All right. Uh. Oh, that's right. That's uh this right there. There you go. Jeez. All right, good. Going to load that, see if we got any experience out of Jeb on that. No, no, no. Okay, so we're just going to launch this, and we're going to do the same science gathering um, with the crew and with the goo and the crew reports and the temperature on the runway, and we're going to get that data. Looks like the, is the capsule moving. Yeah. You can't tell if it's just the way it's rendering. No, it's definitely moving. That's strange. 
Yeah, my orbital speed's changing a little bit. All right. Oh, we're going to EVA. Actually, we already did an EVA report here, so it's not going to... Oh, yeah, that's right. We did it from the shore. All right, board. And... Well, I'm curious to see if this one has KSC, because I used to be able to walk off here and get to the KSC too. This time I'm not going to do a times four speed across the threshold. Um, yeah, Cause I think something I'm pretty sure should do that. So we'll just do times one. We'll run across EVA report. That's still from the runway. All right. They must've got rid of that KSC biome. Um, I could probably go double check that and look in the bug report, but or not bug report, but the uh, change log. Interesting. Well, whatever. All right, so we're going to recover. And uh, hope we should have enough uh, science at this point to get that next node, get the barometer on there, and then we can start making our flights. And the only reason why I do this is that way I can max out the amount of science I'm getting with each flight I take. That way I don't have to do one round of flights and then get more, then do it again and, uh, you know, repeat things. Um, you know, we could technically wait. I could go and gather all the science around this KSC, and I've done it before, and unlock this guy first. But this guy's so heavy in comparison um, and just makes makes it more awkward, although it is 0.2 tons now. I think it used to be heavier. Yeah, it's just so much, it's just heavier in general, and, you know, it doesn't really yield that many. You always have to do two trips in order to get as close to max on the Science Junior. So, personally, I don't like doing it unless I design a vessel specifically to go out, and then I can reset it at each place. And go to the next one, which we'll do later, like I said. So uh, I'm not going to worry about it now. We'll probably do just like a little, like a, some sort of car uh, later on to get all that data or get all that science uh, uh, later once we can unlock our uh, airplane parts here where we actually have the ability to drive around. Um, so yeah, we got to that node, and I think we'll take our first flight soon, uh, which, by the way, we have completed one of our contract so might as well take the contract for launching our first vessel um, don't forget to do that because that contract will go away and you won't get it unless you take the uh, take the contract so I think whoops I think that when we upgrade yeah so that's when we can plant, plant flags but I'm not worried about that Ooh, don't do that I'm not worried about that right now all right so our first launch uh, it's gonna be nothing too spectacular load up our K1 capsule. Okay. Oops. And what we're going to do, since I unlocked the service bay, is we're going to put all of our science gear in there. Um, this will only take a minute. Uh, wrong way. There we go. Let's make sure those don't clip through. They look good. The only reason why I do it this way is because it does seem um, it just it's cleaner looking, you know, when you look at it. So there we go. Everything's in there, and these guys are the same weight, or r roughly the same weight. Yeah, they are the same weight, so um, they stay balanced. Okay, so that's much cleaner looking. We're going to rename that or resave that. We're also going to put start putting some thermal uh, protections on for our re-entry later. And then we are also going to put our decoupler on. I could put it there. Sometimes it clips and acts funny, so I'll just take the hit on... Uh, whoops, i got to not click that. Take the hit on having that ugly band there. I really do not like the shroud that they made for these. It's ugly as hell, and uh, I I hope that they can fix it, because it, it's crazy. Anyway, um, 
so this is going to be our K1 capsule. So this is what we'll load up. We'll put different rockets underneath it uh, as we go through this. And uh, looks like our only form of propulsion here right now is our fleet. I think it's the fleet, right? Yeah, the fleet. So we have about 29 metric tons of weight. I'll, I'll round up to 30 there. This thing is producing 163. Uh, at sea level, so we can divide that out. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put it at 40%, 40% on the thrust. A little higher than I would like to go, but it is what it is. Change the colors, eh, whatever. So basically, all I did there was just try to make it so this thing doesn't have so much thrust. Um, you have a little more control over the vessel that way, and uh, everything's just a little bit easier. So we're going to launch, not launch, but load up with this open, and you'll see why in a minute. Let's make sure my stages are good, everything's good. All right, and Jeb's going to get his first bit of experience with this flight, uh, which will be good. All right, so we're going to load up, basically... I'm going to pin all these open only because it makes our lives much easier later instead of clicking through while it's flying. And my goal right now actually, can I, my barometer, can I log? I don't transmit the whole thing, so I'll just do that one later. Um, so I got all these open, and I'll get this guy pinned open. And basically what I'm going to do is launch and click all these guys through real fast, and it'll save me some time. All right, so I got my resources available, and we are going to launch SAS on. Launch in three, two, one. There, we're flying. Like I said, the thrust-to-weight ratio is a little high there. I'm going to turn this so we can turn away from our launch pad a little bit. And you know we're moving at a good clip. Our uh, G forces are pretty high. I think we're about to hit three G's, which really that's what you want to keep down when you're flying. As those G forces increase, um, your atmospheric effects are going to increase a lot. Three, four. All right, so that's all those. We're nearing the peak of our ascent. So decouple away. And fast forward. And the good part about putting those goo canisters where they are and down so low is that it really helps uh, on re-entry and everything, keeping that bottom orientated down and not letting your capsule flip over. So there, I know that I can get to the ocean pretty easily there, let's use another biome. Um, so I'll recover that and get that first round of science. And this is where I am just going to go off camera for a little bit, and I'm gonna do a few more launches, and I will come back uh, with all that science, and we'll uh, start unlocking some more nodes. All right, so I just did uh, three more missions, got some science from the ocean, got some science from the shores over here, and then I got some science from the Greenland. I also hired another uh, pilot, uh, just because I figured three missions. Um, I figured I'd have a couple, uh, an extra mission to give somebody some uh, experience, and oh, I got to show you the stats on this pilot. Max Deuce, I think her name is. Incredibly courageous, but also incredibly stupid. So those are my favorite type of pilots. Uh, I like to get the engineers that are very stupid, too. I just think it's hilarious. I don't think the stats really matter, but um, it's just fun anyway. Okay, so we have launched our first uh, vessel. So now we're going to escape the atmosphere. That's going to take a couple more launches here, because first we're going to go up to the upper atmosphere and uh, come back down. 
and then we're going to escape the atmosphere on a bigger rocket. So first things first, we'll go back to the VAB. Uh, I will get rid of this. I just want to make sure I never, I don't save. All right, yeah, so we'll load up the K1 capsule, open this. Then we're going to, oh, no, doy, we got a bunch of science to spend. So we got 92 science to spend. I could unlock these two big nodes right here. But then I would almost, I would accidentally force myself into a corner, uh, only because I would only have two more science to spend and no way of getting any bigger rockets. So really, what I need is that hammer rocket. So I'm definitely gonna unlock that. I actually really don't need to move on to the thumper yet, and it's only 20 science, which I should get from one launch to the app to the upper atmosphere. So uh, I am going to spend 18 on these. And then I am going to spend 45 on this. And the reason why I'm going to do that, the reason why I'm doing that, and I still have, I can still get general rocketry right here, but I don't want to spend the science yet in case maybe I'll have enough to get something different. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to use this node and the parts I get from it to travel around the Kerbal Space Center and get a bunch of science there, and which should give us automatic, which should give us enough to get general rocketry no matter what, even if we are down at zero science at this point. Okay, and there's a lot I can do with the Thumper anyway. I could stage them and get out of the atmosphere if I really uh, needed some uh, science in a pinch. So let's go back to the VAB here and load up the K1 capsule, and I am going to put this solid fuel booster, solid rocket booster, whatever it is now, on. Uh, what's my weight? My weight is about, we'll round up 51 tons. Um, what is my thrust here? My sea level, we'll just round up to 200. That way my percentage will always be good. And it's looking at about 25%. So, get out of this about 25% so if I put 35 in there I am going to be good and that will give me enough thrust to weight ratio in the beginning uh, to ensure that I get up there okay so we have our launch here I don't think did we unlock any antennas we did so I'm gonna do this just so I don't screw myself uh, yeah before what the heck just happened so before I do this, I'm going to put this, can I put it up here? I can. Just going to make sure it's in the middle. I don't think that's going to clip through. That side's not really clipping through. It looks good. It looks pretty. Nope, she's not centered. Yeah, that's okay. So all that's going to do is allow me to do some crew reports and flight. I could have used that last mission, and I'm going to use it now. I'm going to do a crew report as I go up, as I launch to the atmosphere. Um, so there's a few more pieces of science I could grab. So there's the K1 capsule. I'm not going to save because this rocket is useless in the future. I'm just going to launch her, make sure I got my thrust weight. Yep. So I'm going to launch it, and I think Max just is still in there in the roster, or in the seat. And uh, so we'll... Uh, We'll let her take point on this one. So I'll pin this one. And this Doing this right here is especially helpful when you're trying to gather science while flying because it sucks opening this up in the atmosphere um, and then going through clicking on everything. It's just a pain in the butt. So, And I can do my crew reports much more efficiently from here. So, we're going to zoom out. SAS is on. We're going to launch at 3 to 1. Good thrust to weight ratio, sitting right about 1.1. I'm going to get my turn started here. And uh, I believe... Nope, I already... I need to do a crew report. I already did a crew report. Okay, so I don't even have to do that. We're just going to... We're going to 
fly this out, and we're going to break, I think it's 20,000 kilometers, or is it 40? I, I can't remember. We're going to find out. So we're times two speed here. We're climbing steadily. I don't even know what is our trajectory pointing us to. We're getting now well over 20. I don't think we'll hit 40. So this might be a big bus. So we just pot passed. Yeah, we're in the upper atmosphere. So log, log, observe, observe. I got four. Yep. And we're good. And we can't do an EVA here. So the reason why I turned that that way was so I could get a little bit more momentum in the uh, orbital direction. And uh, getting that momentum pushes me a little farther into the water. So. All right. So I don't think we're going to fall at any steep of an angle or any shallow of an angle. We're going to fall pretty much straight down. And times four speed. Wow, we actually went pretty high. We hit well over 40. If I could get above 60, then I would be able to EVA uh, real quick and uh, get that science, but today wasn't the day. All right, we're falling pretty good. We're going to be way in the water, which is fine. And here we go. I usually pop my chute at about 3,000 only because it gives me a little bit more speed going through and my chute opens closer to the water and I'm not sitting here waiting uh, for a long period of time while I just float down to the water. All right, so we're about to hit and recover and we should get plenty of science out of that. Uh, oops, here we go, recover vessel. I wonder if Max just got an experience point for that. See, we just got a bunch. No XP gained. Okay. Yeah, because we didn't leave the atmosphere. So we still have our Escape the Atmosphere contract open and all these dumb contracts, which I'm not even going to mess around with. The money is in satellites. It's not in uh, those observation contracts. All right. So we have... 58 science to spend. And I am going to spend it. Like I said, I know I'm going to be able to get this no matter what. So I'm going to spend it here and unlock that science junior so I can couple those together and get some science out of this, the uh, space center. Get a little extra science and That'll be a long day. I, I won't put that all on camera. I'll just show you one and then. Um, then I'll do the rest off camera. But anyway, let's uh, do another launch here. Now, wait, why am I doing another launch? No. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to call that a day right now, and uh, I think it was a good episode. Uh, I don't think, I've already gotten to the grasslands, so I don't think I'll be able to get any more science out of the thumper. I have to get pretty far out to get to the highlands over there. Um, I've already been in the shores. There's no real other place to go but besides KSC right now. And like I said, I only need six, uh, six and a half science really, in order to unlock that next rocket. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work on building a science cart off camera because it takes a little bit of time, and then I'll come back and uh, record my endeavors with you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.